the Durbuster project is included in Zap Proxy, but if you still want to install the standalone version, you can do so pretty easily. So first of all, you can go out to SourceForge and grab the Durbuster package that includes the lists. The lists are the files of directories and the extensions and other types of things that Durbuster will search for. And it's useful to have those. If you're installing on Kali Linux, a lot of those lists are already found on the installation, but if you're installing on Ubuntu, you won't have those lists. So you can grab the Durbuster.zip or the tarbz2, either one will work fine. We're going to use the zip. And I've already downloaded the file. So the next thing we'll do is go ahead and unzip it. So when you're done, you'll see that there's a directory. If you look inside the directory, you'll see the different files that make up the program. The jar file is the program's executable, and there is a shell file that starts it running. So now we're going to create a directory for the program to run from. So in opt, we'll create a directory Durbuster. And then we can copy the files from our Durbuster project into Durbuster. Note that optionally you can simply move this entire directory into opt and then of course the path would be opt Durbuster-1.0-rc1. Dash dash but if you want the more simple name just make the directory. Either way is fine. So currently all the files are in the downloads directory and we're going to move them into this directory represented by the dot. And to run the program we'll run the shell which will in turn start up the jar file. And now the program's running. 